Good morning. It is 8.28 a.m. on Monday, December 23rd, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So uh, I'm off today. No working from home, just regular old vacation day for me. I feel like I have so much media to consume right now. Obviously, you know, like I am, I, I can do whatever I like, but definitely I feel like there's been a little bit of buildup uh, because I still have the new season of The Expanse to watch. Uh, I uh, just started The Witcher on Netflix, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about. Um, also, the new season of The Dragon Prince I haven't watched yet. So many, and, and then so many video games. Ugh. The the burden, the burden of the media connoisseur. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Uh, but I do want to talk a little bit about The Witcher. I watched the first two episodes last night, and I'm into it so far. Um, honestly, I was given pause a little bit just by Henry Cavill, whom I don't know. I ha like, I have mixed feelings about. Maybe part of that is really just, it's, you know, not his fault. It's just that I don't like the Superman movie season. Um, I did like him in the recent Mission Impossible movie, although he was the bad guy in that. So, I don't know. I, I had mixed feelings. Like, every time I saw him in the promotional material for the show, I just had a, a little bit of a reaction like, mm, I don't know. But I'm not actually having that feeling while watching the show. So that's good news. Uh, it looks gorgeous. Um, the storytelling is kind of all over the place, which is okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm digging it so far. I'm definitely going to keep watching. In fact, actually, I'm just really feeling like it looks great. Um, I do think that there's a few dialogue motifs that are just a little on the nose. Um, but uh, that's okay. I do like the complexity, though, that it sets up right away, which is definitely what I associate with The Witcher games, at least. Namely, you know, the dilemma that it presents Geralt with right off the bat is essentially a guy saying, you have to go kill this girl. She's evil, and it would be the lesser evil to kill her instead of letting her kill others. And then, uh, you know, talks to that girl and she says, no, actually, it's that guy who's the evil one. You should kill him because he tried to kill me and I didn't do anything and I've just been fighting to survive and I'm actually pretty and hot and all that. So you should be nice to me. Um, and, you know, and he's put in this position where he doesn't want to choose, but they're both prepared to force the issue. And he ends up having to choose one way or another. And no matter what he picks, the rest of the town hates him. So that, yeah, like that's pretty on brand as far as I can, as far as my own experience with Witcher stuff goes. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into it so far. Um, yeah. So I guess that's all I have to say about it. I'm still pretty early on in there. But the other thing that I want to talk about is something I spent a good chunk of yesterday afternoon doing, which is playing a computer game called Later Alligator. And it is adorable. It's so good, you guys. I mean, like, it's it's not a big, heavy game. Mechanically, it's just a mini game collection where a lot of the games are really almost like a joke than a game. Meaning, um, like, one of the very first ones... <laughs> I, I don't even want to spoil the joke. Some of them are very silly. Like one of the games, for example, is that there's a kid who insists he's absolutely the best at hide and seek. But the way that you win the game is by letting the kid win hide and seek, which means that he has hidden somewhere really obvious on screen and you hear him giggling as you look everywhere but there. But then when you show him that how good at hide and seek he is by not finding him, you win. <laughs> um, and so some of the mini games are like that. And there's a couple that are, you know, because there's a, they're a little bit mechanic, you know, like the controls a little wobbly. There's a couple that like edge on a tiny bit frustrating, but only just a couple. And most of those even are not a big deal. 
so but by and large the reason you play is not because these mini games are mechanically interesting but because the whole game is hand drawn animation of a city full of alligators. Everybody in Alligator New York City is an alligator, and uh, they're all ad adorable and cute and silly, and the game is funny and sweet, and I loved it. It's so good. So if you're in the mood for a game that has a whole bunch of very sweet animated alligators in it, may I recommend Later Alligator? I liked it because it had sweet, adorable animated alligators in it. <laughs> uh, so I'll leave it there and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.